Imagine stepping foot on an alien planet surrounded by peculiar flora that seem to have been plucked straight out of a science fiction novel. This is not the set of a Hollywood blockbuster nor a figment of a writer's wild imagination. Welcome to Socotra, a secluded island off the coast of Yemen, a place so unique it's often dubbed as Earth's most alien-looking location. Socotra's isolation has given birth to an array of extraordinary biodiversity, unlike anything else found on our planet. Adorning this island's landscape is the dragon's blood tree, a rare species so captivating with its umbrella-like form that it seems to have been conjured up by some mythical creature. But this isn't mythology, it's biology. This tree's red sap, which gives it its dragon moniker, is just one of the many quirks of nature you'll find here. The isolation of Socotra has acted as a natural barrier, shielding its unique ecosystem from external influences. It's like a time capsule, preserving a world that has evolved separately from the rest of planet Earth. Here, you won't find bustling cityscapes or crowded tourist resorts. Instead, you'll be greeted by an array of endemic flora and fauna, each with their own unique adaptations, honed over millions of years of evolution. This island isn't just a haven for biologists and botanists, it's a paradise for anyone with an insatiable curiosity for the natural world. A place where you can lose yourself in the wonders of nature, away from the mundane predictability of everyday life. But Socotra isn't just a paradise for the curious, it's also a living, breathing testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. In this isolated corner of the world, life has not just survived but thrived, painting an awe-inspiring portrait of the power of evolution and the creativity of nature. Socotra, a real-life Garden of Eden, is a testament to the wonders that nature can produce in isolation. Our next stop takes us to a mystical forest at the foothills of a famous mountain, a place shrouded in folklore and mystery. Welcome to Aokigahara, a dense forest nestled at the base of Japan's iconic Mount Fuji. Known as the Sea of Trees, Aokigahara is a world of its own, with a silence so profound it's as if the forest itself is holding its breath. Here the wind seems to whisper ancient tales, and every twisted tree and moss-covered stone has a story to tell. The forest's unique vegetation owes its life to the rich volcanic soil, a gift from Mount Fuji's fiery past. Here, dense networks of roots plunge deep into the earth, drawing nourishment from the blackened ground. The trees stand tall and proud, their leaves forming a thick canopy that shrouds the forest in an emerald twilight. Underneath, a carpet of moss blankets the forest floor, softening each footstep and absorbing sound, adding to the forest's eerie silence. But Aokigahara is not just a forest, it's a realm of myths and legends. Some say the forest is haunted by yurei, spirits of the dead in Japanese folklore, while others whisper of ancient warriors who met their end within the forest's depths. These tales add a layer of mystery to the forest, creating an atmosphere that is both captivating and chilling. Despite its haunting reputation, Aokigahara is also a place of quiet beauty. The forest is alive with the subtle rustle of leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. It's a place where one can lose themselves in the tranquility of nature, far from the bustling cities and neon lights of modern Japan. Whether it's the delicate lacework of a spider's web glistening with dew or the sudden flash of a bird taking flight, Aokigahara offers a chance to reconnect with the natural world in its rawest form. Aokigahara, with its quiet beauty and haunting legends, is a paradise that reminds us of the thin line between life and death. Dive with us now into the depths of a man-made lake, where a submerged ancient city waits to tell its stories. Welcome to Shurichung, also known as Lion City. This hidden gem is nestled beneath the waters of Qiandao Lake in China, an unexpected treasure shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Shurichung is no ordinary city. It's a city frozen in time, a portal to a bygone era, its architecture preserved in an underwater sanctuary. The beauty of this city is not just in its silent, watery existence, but in the history it holds within its watery walls. The buildings, the roads, the archways all date back to the Ming and Qing dynasties, a testament to the grandeur of ancient Chinese civilization. Picture a city, complete in its splendor, with houses, temples, and even a palace, all intricately carved and designed. The stone streets of Shurcheng, lined with stately homes and towering pagodas, offer glimpses into a past civilization's life and culture. 
The city is so well preserved that even wooden beams and stairs within the structures remain intact, a testament to the extraordinary craftsmanship of their builders. But why is this ancient city underwater? The answer lies in the year 1959 when it was intentionally flooded. The Chinese government decided to create a hydroelectric power project and for that they needed a lake. So they built a dam and the city of Shichung was submerged, disappearing beneath the waves of the newly formed Qiandao Lake. Today, Shichung lies silent and serene 60 to 130 feet below the surface. It's a paradise for divers who are rewarded with an awe-inspiring sight as they delve into the depths. Swimming through the ancient streets, they encounter a world of tranquility and grandeur, a city frozen in time, untouched by the modern world. Shichung, a silent city beneath the waves, offers an underwater paradise for the adventurous, a time capsule of ancient Chinese civilization. From beneath the waves to high above them, we now journey to a cluster of islands unlike any other. Welcome to the Euros Islands, a group of man-made marvels floating atop the sapphire waters of Lake Titicaca in Peru. Now these aren't your typical islands. They aren't formed by volcanic activity or tectonic shifts, but rather by the meticulous and tireless efforts of the indigenous Euros people. These islands are made entirely of totora reeds, which grow abundantly along the shores of Lake Titicaca. The Euros people have been harnessing these reeds for centuries, not only to construct their islands, but also their homes, boats, and even some of their everyday objects. It's a lifestyle that's as sustainable as it is unique. Living on floating reed islands might seem unusual to many of us, but for the Euros people, it's a way of life that's been passed down through generations. They've adapted to their environment in remarkable ways, developing methods to keep their islands afloat, even as the reeds at the bottom decompose. By constantly adding fresh layers of reeds on top, they ensure their islands remain buoyant and habitable. But the Euros people's relationship with the Totora reeds extends beyond construction. These reeds also play a crucial role in their diet and medicine. They consume the reeds white bottom, which is rich in iodine and helps them ward off goitre, a common health concern in the region. Their distinctive reed crafts are another testament to their ingenuity. These crafts, ranging from intricate model boats to adorable animal figurines, provide a glimpse into their vibrant culture and are a source of livelihood for many families on the islands. The Euros Islands are more than just an unusual geographical feature. They are a testament to the adaptability and resourcefulness of the human spirit, to our ability to live in harmony with nature and to thrive in the most unexpected places. The Euros Islands, a testament to human adaptability and ingenuity, float serenely in the azure waters of Lake Titicaca, a paradise above the water. From the rare flora of Socotra to the silent underwater city of Shichung, our journey has taken us through some of the world's most unique hidden paradises. Let's take a moment to reflect on the marvels we've uncovered. We began our journey in Socotra, an island that seems to have been plucked straight out of a science fiction novel. With its alien-like dragon blood trees and a biodiversity that's 80% unique to the island, Socotra is a living testament to the extraordinary power of evolution. From there, we ventured into the mystical forest of Aokigahara. This dense, lush forest is as beautiful as it is haunting. Its quiet tranquility, coupled with the stories that whisper through its undergrowth, paints a picture of a place where nature and folklore intertwine. The next leg of our journey took us beneath the surface to the underwater city of Shi Chung. Submerged for over half a century, this ancient city is an underwater time capsule. Its preserved architecture's silent streets and time-worn structures tell tales of a civilization that once thrived. Finally, we set foot on the floating islands of Euros. These man-made wonders built entirely of Totora reeds are a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. The Euros people have not only survived but thrived in these harsh conditions, creating a vibrant community that floats atop the world's highest navigable lake. Each of these paradises, though hidden, is a testament to the world's endless capacity for wonder. They are proof that even in the most unexpected corners of the earth, there is beauty to be found, stories to be told, and secrets to be uncovered. These paradises, each unique and mesmerizing, remind us that the world still holds many secrets, waiting to be discovered by those daring enough to seek them out.